Okay, welcome to Physics Everywhere. In this video, we're going to be looking at solving a ballistic pendulum, which is a very low-tech device used to figure out the muzzle velocity or the speed of a bullet. So I'm going to use an animation to show you essentially what a ballistic pendulum is. This right here is going to be our bullet. The bullet will come in, get itself embedded into the piece of wood. So momentum and kinetic energy of the bullet will be transferred into the block of wood. It'll cause the block of wood to swing up into the air. And we will simply have to know what is the height that the block gets pushed up into the air. And from there, we'll be able to figure out the original speed of the bullet. So when we go to do it, we won't know any of these numbers at the bottom, but this is just to show you how this works. So as you can see, the projectile has moved into the block. This animation is very easy to work with, even on your phone. I'm just going to slide up this dotted line and in this case it's showing us that the block of wood will be lifted up to a height of 0.43 meters. So now we're going to look at solving the system using algebra. So here's our bullet, here's our block of wood. Mass of the bullet is uh, m subscript bullet. Mass of the block of wood is m subscript block. We're going to solve this using algebra and come up with an algebraic expression that we can use for any combination of initial conditions. So momentum before the system. What I like to do is just list everything. Total momentum of the system is the mass of the bullet times the speed of the bullet times the mass of the block and the speed of the block. Now obviously if the block is not initially moving, so this right here will be a zero. Which means we can simplify total momentum before interaction to simply the mass of the bullet and the speed of the bullet and we obviously don't know the speed of the bullet that's what we're going to be looking for now after the interaction let's take a look at the momentum so momentum after the collision is the mass of the bullet times the new speed of the bullet plus the mass of the block times the new speed of the block and because the bullet and the block are actually moving at the same speed we can simplify it slightly and we can say that momentum after the bullet goes into the block of wood is just the mass of the bullet plus the mass of the block times its new speed. Now conservation of momentum says the momentum you start with is the momentum you end with which means PT is equal to P prime T and then we can write it out to look like this. So here we have the total momentum before the bullet goes into the block of wood. Here is the momentum after the bullet's gone in. And we have a couple of unknowns. We don't know the speed of the bullet, and we don't know the speed of the block and the bullet. So there's two unknowns in this equation, and let's just label this as equation A. Let's take a look at energies. So here's the situation. As the bullet goes into the block of wood, but the block has not started to move up yet, we're going to call that uh, position 1. When the bullet is in the block of wood and it's been raised up to its maximum height, we're going to call that position 2. So, at position 1, the energies we can have are kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. Now, because it's at the bottom and can't go any lower, so the gravitational potential energy is 0. So all of the energy is kinetic energy. So we can write that relation out. So kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. The bullet and the block we're combining as one mass. And the speed when they start to move is v prime. So this is our kinetic energy at position 1. Okay, when the ballistic pendulum gets to the top of the swing, we're going to look at our energy as E prime. So E prime total could be a combination of E prime kinetic, E prime gravitational potential. When it reaches the top of its swing, there is no more kinetic energy. So that's going to be a zero, which means all of the energy will be gravitational potential. And the gravitational potential energy at that point is MGH, or it's the combo mass of the bullet and the block times G and times H. So conservation of mechanical energy says whatever energy you start with, you have to end with, which means total energy at position 1 has to equal total energy at position 2. 
which means we can write out here's the total energy at the bottom of the ballistic pendulum here's the total energy at the top of the ballistic pendulum and you'll notice that we can simply divide out our masses because they're the same on both sides which means our relation ends up looking like this. So 1 half V prime squared equals G times H. We actually need to solve for V prime squared. So let's multiply both sides by 2. So now we get V prime squared is equal to 2 GH. Let's take the square root of both sides, which means we get V prime is equal to 2 times G times H. Now V prime represented the speed of the block and the bullet when it first became embedded. So that's obviously something we don't know. We're going to call this equation B. So what we want to do is take equation B and sub it into equation A. So that was equation A. Now what I want to do is replace V prime with the value we just got. Now if you remember, V bullet was unknown and V prime was also unknown. So by substituting in V prime, we have now eliminated that unknown, and all we're left with is V bullet. Okay, so we're going to divide both sides by the mass of the bullet, which obviously will cancel that out. You can't cancel on this side because you have a binomial through addition at the top, which means our equation looks like this. So the speed of the bullet is equal to the mass of the bullet, the mass of the block, combined together, divided by the mass of the bullet, multiplied by 2. Now this G right here is gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, and the H is the height that the block of wood is raised to in the ballistic pendulum. Okay, so let's take a look at a mathematical example. We have a 29 gram bullet getting embedded into a 4.97 kilogram block of wood that goes to a height of 15.6 centimeters. We want to find the initial speed of the bullet. So we're going to list our variables. Mass of the bullet was 29 grams. We have to make sure we put it into kilograms, which would be 29 times 10 to the negative 3 kilograms. The block of wood was 4.97 kilograms. So that one was fine. And the height was 15.6 centimeters, but in meters would be 0.156. So here's our equation. The speed of the bullet is mass of the bullet plus the mass of the block divided by the mass of the bullet times the square root of 2 times g, 9.8 meters per second squared, times the height that the block will be raised up. So let's put in all the variables. So here we have them. There's the 29 gram bullet, the block of wood, divided by the mass of the bullet, our g value, and our h. Get out our calculators, punch some buttons. So under the root sign, we get 3.056, and it's meters squares per second squared. And in front, it's 172.397, and you had kilograms over kilograms, which means that it does not have any units. So if we take the square root, we end up getting 1.7485, and the units would be meters per second. Out front was 172.397. Multiply them together and you get 301.45 meters per second. Since we only had three sig digs in our original question, we can only go to three sig digs, which means the muzzle velocity of the bullet would be 301 meters per second.